Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the lecture. So in this lecture, we will say just in case if somebody has put a drop down button in your Excel sheet, how do you try to remove that? So let us say this particular thing like F15, 20, 25, don't want it. Okay, I'll click on this. I'll go to data validation and in here from the list, you need to click on any value. So the moment you click on any value and you say, okay, so you can see this drop down has gone. I cannot see that, but here the drop down is there. Now, instead of 25, you can put 30 or whatever you want, you can put. Let us say I want to put 250. Okay. So it will come by default. You're getting my point. So when you don't want to uh, apply this uh, drop down button, and now if you want to apply it again, click on this, go to data validation. Now you are going to say list them and list you have two options. Either you can uh, drag it like in the previous case, I had explained you, right? Else, if there is limited set of number, like I want only 20, 25, 30 and 35. So this is limited set. I selected four of them. I'll say, okay. And now only four will come. Okay, great. Yeah. So now after this, now let us say rather than uh, 20, 25, 30, 35, I'm going to just input 40. I'll write 40 here and I'll say enter. The moment I write 40 here, it will give me a warning. I'll write 40 here and I'll say enter. So you can see this value doesn't match the data validation restriction defined for this cell. That means 40 was not there, right? 40, we did not give an input. It was only up to 35. The moment I say 40, it will give this particular uh, warning to me. So now you, if you want to change this warning, then you can do that also. So I'll click on this. I'll go to data validation. And here there is option called as error alert. I'll click on that. So you have different options here. If it is a stop, it will, you'll get an X mark. Suppose it is, if it is a warning, it will come something like this. And suppose if it is an information, it will come something like this. So I'll say I'll, I want to uh, display a warning. It was coming stop previously. Now I'll go with warning. So I'll click on warning and title, let us say error message. I'll write error message. Okay, that is, you can give any title. And if you want the error message to come, I'll say, I'll write, please select Please select values from drop down. That means what do you understand by this? I'm telling Excel, if I'm if somebody is putting a value, whatever is given other than the drop down, you just give him a message saying that please select values from drop down button. Okay, finish. Got it. And now I'll say okay. Now I'll put 40 here. So the moment I put 40, so what is coming? Please select values from drop down button. So this was the thing which I had done an input. I mean, I wrote and you see the error message. So it's coming error message, right? So I'll say cancel. I think there's a small mistake there. Data validation alert. So make it proper error message or even you can write error warning or even you can title say warning. Okay. And now I say, okay. And now let me give 40. Now it will come warning. You see warning is coming here. And please select value from drop down button. Now you will understand. So I'll just click here and from the drop down only, I'll click it. Okay. So this will be handy for someone. Who, let us say you are, you are preparing Excel sheet and somebody else is using it. So he doesn't know no, why the error is coming. So through that error, you can, uh, what do you call, educate that guy. Like, okay, you need to select only these values. Now, let us say this 25. This value is like 25, 20, 20, 25, 30, 35. I don't know what exactly it is. So then you can even give an input. Like for example, we had an error problem in the same way. I don't know what is this 415. Even though it is written still, I don't know what exactly is this 415. So I'll select this one. I'll go to data validation. I'll go to data validation. Now here there's option called as input message. So I'll click on input message. So it's telling you need to input like we did it for the warning, the same thing I, like we did for error, error alert, right? I'll click on this. It is not activated. I need to click on this. So title input command, I'll write input command and input message what you want. Yeah, input message will be I'll write select yield stress, yield stress of rebar. Okay. That whatever yield stress, yield stress of rebar. Okay. Now, if you want further, you can clarify him. Like, for example, okay, for example, 
four on five, five hundred, five fifty. It's not required, but still I'm writing it. Not an issue. I'll say okay. So now what has happened? You know, the moment I click on this, you can see here it is telling us that what you need to input here. What is this still all about? So I'm getting a input message like select the yield stress of rebar. For example, four on five, five hundred and five fifty. So I'll just come here and select from here. You're getting my point. So if you want to give an input message, also that can be done. But usually it's not required. But maybe uh, just in case if you feel like I need to give that, you can do even that also. Input command. So if you want, I'll change that. That's a small mistake in the spelling. Data validation. Yeah. So input message. input command okay fine now it's coming input command got it right those things also you can do so now we understood how to do the input we also got how to change the output values and all so other than that we'll try to see few other commands so for few other commands i'll go with a different excel sheet of mine yeah maybe i can click on this i'll go to data validation i'll go to data validation so i'll go to uh, settings any value i understood now if you want Least is also understood. Whole number, if you have, you can give whole number. So only the whole number it will be taking. Okay. Or I'll go with a different thing called as text text length. So I'll click on the text length. I want to write a text here, but I want to put a restriction. Minimum your text should be three, and maximum it should be five. Let us see. Minimum it has to be three. Maximum five. That means minimum three let three letters should be there in your word. Maximum five letter is allowed. And I'll say okay. Now I'll try to write here. A K S H. My name is Akshay, right? I write Akshay, but Akshay is a six character word. But I have given maximum five can be allowed. I'll say enter. So it will give me a warning. This value doesn't match the data validation restriction defined for this cell. So I'll say cancel. Why the problem is coming? Because Akshay is a six letter word. So instead of Akshay, I'll write A K S H. Only four letter I'll write, and I'll hit enter. Now it will take because my range was from three to. My range was from three to five. Now, if I give only two letter rather than Akshay, I'll write only A K. I'll say enter. Now again, it will give me warning because I have given minimum three letters should come, but here only two letters are there. So again, if you click here, go to data validation. Go to data validation. Now, if you want, you can change minimum letters. Say I want uh, zero, and maximum letters say I'll give a uh, ten, and I'll say okay. Now, if I just write only A, also it will take. And if I write A K S H A Y, I'll write Kamath also K A M A T H. It won't take because Akshay Kamath together is more than ten letter. But if I try to, you know, uh, take out one A K S H A Y K A M and okay, now also it doesn't take why? Okay, A K S H A Y. Okay, K A M. Yeah, because it should not give a space there. Now you see A K S H A Y six letter. Six plus three is nine. No, let me write. Let me add another. T H I'll write. It won't take because it is more than ten letters. Okay, so that also can be done. Just if you want, you can try with that. But uh, with, there is no much application of this. So in some cases, if you feel like that restriction has to be added, you can do that. Okay. So again, I'll go to data validation. So here, I think input message I've explained you. Error alert is also explained. Go to the settings. Here, almost all the things I've explained. But basically, we play with only the least value, and we go with the any value. Sometimes, if you want something in a decimal, if you want something in the whole number, if you want a text length, if you want to add a date, if you want to add a time, that also can be done. But usually, we play with the least and any value. If you don't want to put any uh, data validation, you can go with any value. So any value is okay for us. Okay, great. So try to practice up to here. Uh, make your own Excel sheets, something like this. And you can try to make use of these commands, and you can try to understand. So we'll be we'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.